this was interesting. It's over at Knoll Game Day. It's a part of the SI network. And the report says that the ACC has, quote, had conversations in regards to adding a new team to the conference. It says this would be an interesting shift for the ACC in conference realignment. Now, one thing that we have figured out over the last few days is that, I say over the maybe over the last week, any school that gets brought into the ACC would basically have to sign the same grant of rights that all of the current ACC member institutions had to sign. So you're going to have to roll with that, right? So if those schools are going to be brought in, what school would it make sense for them to bring in that has a good academic reputation, has a pretty good football product, pretty good, just overall good athletics, right? And who would it make sense as opposed to the Pac-12? Who else would work? And what we have figured out is SMU has had conversations with leaders in the Big 12, the ACC, and the Pac-12 recently. Sources with knowledge uh, of the situation told the Dallas Morning News, an inside report from the paper read. Bigger decisions such as Notre Dame's future and the direction of each of the three aforementioned conferences still need to be figured out before SMU could potentially make a move, but there is internal optimism the dust could eventually settle in SMU's favor. You have to feel good about where we're at, an SMU official said. Now, we have talked quite a bit about the idea that the Big 12 was not done expanding, and once Oklahoma and Texas leave for the SEC, we kind of expect them to go back in and continue on with their expansion, right? That's kind of what we're looking at, and I think, and we'll see, obviously, but I think that the Big 12 makes sense because you've already got a foothold in Texas and you want to maintain that for sure. Uh, but I, the ACC was not something that I had on the board at all. Uh, this article here says, uh, this would be an interesting move in the wake of the SEC and the Big Ten expanding. However, other conferences such as the Big 12 or Pac-12 may make more sense for SMU's future. The Mustangs could utilize their Texas roots to join a Big 12 that includes four other programs in the state. Uh, depending on how many schools defect from the Pac-12, there might be an opening out west as well. And that is true. Uh, we've talked quite a bit about Mountain West schools possibly going to the Pac-12, but if you want to expand your reach, uh, you've already got the four corner schools in Utah, Colorado, Arizona, Arizona State. Why not just expand it on over so that you've got a footprint in Texas as well? And SMU would be pretty good. Pretty good. Um yeah, on here it says the ACC isn't resting on its laurels ahead of multiple reports that the SEC and the Big Ten could look to poach the conference of its top programs. Uh, it says, according to the Dallas Morning News, the conference has had conversations with Southern Methodist University. Uh, now, again, these are just conversations, but the fact that the ACC is open to expanding, uh, we, we kind of settled down with, uh, we're going to have two major conferences, right? Two 20 Lee or 20-team, 20 24-team conferences and I think what we're beginning to see is everybody's just going to be happy with getting to 16 because once you get past that, it's not a conference anymore. You're not going to be adding a bunch of games to college football because you still have the academic requirements, et cetera. You're not going to add a bunch more. So if you're not going to add a bunch of games and you wouldn't be able to play every team even within like three years, then what would be the point, right? So I think everybody is going to eventually get to 16. The ACC has already shown that they could do it with 15 when they had Notre Dame during the pandemic year in 2020. Why not add an SMU? Like, add one school that brings a little bit of value, gives you a footprint in a region that you do not already have an existing footprint, and continue on that way. So I, I would imagine we'll get to a point where the Big 12 has 16, the Big 10 has 16, the SEC has 16, the ACC has 16, Still not sure what the Pac-12 is going to do. Now, obviously, this is going to just crush some of these G5 leagues, but you're bringing up those schools that are serious about football and bringing them to these bigger conferences. Maybe we're not looking at marginalizing the sport elsewhere. Maybe what we're doing is we've got two premier leagues, and then you've got all of the other ones that have just brought up the G5s that I'm not going to say deserve but uh, the G5s that have shown the willingness to invest in their athletics programs. We'll say that. Uh, that could be pretty interesting 
as we go forward. So keep an eye on that one. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.